all right guys so today we're going to be doing a little quick diagnostic video here uh trailer is back in town it's loaded but it's back in town it's going to be heading back out here in a couple hours or so so we're going to go over there and do a uh um diagnostic you know flash code on this new trailer i got and like i said in another video you'll see where it has uh, the green light and the yellow light for abs and my dad's been saying that it's been coming on um you know coming on going off so which means it's kind of a faulty code in it that comes and goes and it's not a current code when you get back to the house so it's kind of hard to diagnose i cleared it all off the other day i'll show you that in this video too how to clear all the codes so you can go back out and see what it does but uh that's where we're gonna head over there today uh taking a pickup truck i've already got now you don't have to have this tool but this tool works a lot better it's not really even a tool it's an old piece of equipment <clears throat> So there it is. All it is is your cable going to your trailer. Uh, cut the end of it off, and you're gonna do, I put ends on them, you know, but blue and red. Red's power when you do this test, so it's gonna be power all the time, and that's gonna be your, um, you're gonna uh, hit this for a second or two seconds or whatever, on and off, and it's gonna flash it. I'll, I'll show you when I get there. Uh, I just bring jumper cables. I just use a pickup truck to do power to it. You can do this without uh, without any of that. I think you can do it with a truck, but it seems like I really can't get it to work uh, really good that way. So we're gonna head over there right now, and I'll see you over there. All right, so we're uh, we're back here at the trailer. Pop this hood. It looks all right. Yeah, so we're back here at the trailer. We're gonna hook up the cables to the battery, and then here's the trailer. We're gonna mess with. Uh, and like I said before, these lights back here in the back. Are we gonna flash our codes? And this trailer here it does have the, the Wabash like uh, MBS2, I believe is what it's called. But it's got the uh, this is for wheel temp and brake temperature. It flashes part of the ABS, but not you don't have to have that for DOT. This is the one uh, you gotta have for DOT. If it's got it, it's gotta work. But yeah, we're gonna hook that up. I'll show you how to make all that stuff blink and, uh, you know, go from there. Yeah, so that time it took a little while to do all that, but uh, you have to, I wasn't holding the wire on there long enough. You hold them on there one second intervals, and then you take it off for a second. So one second on, one second off, one second on, one second off. Two gets you current codes. Three gets you stored codes. Four clears the codes. and uh, go back up here. See if I can get this on film. It's kind of hard because the way I got it set up, it, I ain't gonna, we don't have the tripod today. All right, so I just did it three times, which should be stored codes. Before I clear anything, I usually just do see if there's any stored and see if there's any, you know, cleared. So here it is flashing. <clears throat> That's code five. It's so got a five stored and a seven current. Interesting part was I've seen that green one first and earlier and it's not flashing now. But yeah. So what we're gonna do now is is uh, do the four. We're gonna touch it four times and the fourth time you hold it until it starts flashing and that should clear the current like the 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 upward side of the newest code I guess you'd say.
Now when you get this, when you clear the code, it flashes really fast. I don't know, you probably didn't see it. And then it'll start flashing another code. So that's who this one is. No, still code seven. So seven is obviously something to do with it right now. Um, that's why he's doing that. So it's something that's happening at this moment, which is always good. You can usually fix that way. Let's see if we get any store codes again. Alright, so now we got a, another code. Like I said, I cleared it and then now it's going to the store code. It's showing a code six. So we're gonna film. Three, four, five, six. Oh. Maybe it's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, still set. So I'll clear that. That's just giving us that code there we've had. This is a kind of a procedure. They make a tool to actually plug into all this and read the codes, but this is kind of like the the freeway. They're quick and easy. Well, I don't know if it's easy. All right, so unfortunately I had like uh, four store codes and one current code, which is interesting. So I had uh, four, six, eight, and 12 was stored and seven's current. Um, but I mean, a lot of that could be, it could just be a bad ground issue. We'll have to see on this thing. I'll have to play with it a little bit more when I get a chance. But uh, the best way to do it, check your current codes. Like I said, is do two, hit the wire two times and hold it, the blue wire to the red wire. And then, uh, once you get your current figured out, current codes, then you can go to your stored codes. That's doing it three times. So do it three times and then hold it and it'll flash. And then once you get your first stored code, then you go to a the delete code where you want to clear that code. So you do it four times on the fourth time you hold it and the, the, the red light will start flashing really fast. And that means it's deleting that code. So then once this is done deleting, you can have the blue wire unhooked. You know, you ain't gonna hold it there once it starts flashing, but it will start, um, it'll stop flashing really fast and then go to the next code. So, you know, like mine was four and then what, six? So it did four and then it, like, it was real fast and then it did six. You know, you get to delete that code each and every time. So you have to hit that wire four times and hold it to delete every code individually. But um, a little confusing probably for some people. Uh, Anyways, a little quick video, uh, hit the like button and always subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.